Hi, welcome to your MK Yoga practice. My name's Megan, and I'm gonna show you through a confidence boosting yoga practice today. We're gonna open up through the chest and enjoy a nice flow. Let's sit up nice and tall, maybe in a crossed legged position, or perhaps leaving the legs extended out in front. We'll ground down through the sit bones and lengthen through the spine, crown of the head already reaching up for the sky or the ceiling. Bring the hands to the heart center, Anjali Mudra, and maybe tuck the chin just a little to lengthen through the back of the neck. And let's set our intention here. We're going to manifest confidence, feeling really confident in ourselves, in our own bodies, in our minds, in our decisions. And we'll take this through the practice today. You can release the hands, taking them down to the knees and then reaching up for the sky or the ceiling, really taking the fingertips up. As you exhale, release the arms come back down. Inhale through center, reaching up, fingertips come up. Exhale, take the arms nice and wide. One more inhalation, reaching up, pause at the top. Right arm comes down, left reaches up and over to the side. Gaze can come down at the bottom hand, or maybe straight ahead, maybe even up towards the fingertips. We'll open up through the side body, inhale to bring the arm up, and exhale over to the other side. We'll open up through the side ribs. Nice rounds of breath. We'll inhale to bring both arms back up through center. Exhale to release. Inhale, take the fingertips up towards the ceiling and releasing this time to the cactus arms. We'll bring the left elbow forward, right elbow back to come into a twist. Coming back through center over to the other side, right elbow forward, left back. Inhale back through center. We'll come over to the other side. This time bringing the left hand down to the right knee, the other arm behind you to sit up nice and tall through the spine. We'll come in through the open twist. Gaze can come all the way back behind the shoulder and really lengthening through the spine, opening out to the right side of the room. Let's inhale, come back through center, releasing the arms. Take the fingertips up towards the ceiling, exhale down to cactus, and we'll open out to the opposite side. Right elbow and right hand coming down to the left knee, and the other arm coming behind you to help extend through the, through the spine. You can stay up nice and tall on the fingertips, helping to reach the crown of the head a little higher. And exhale, soften, releasing out to the left side. Let's come back through center, take a few rolls of the shoulders and release the legs. We'll swap them over just to even up through the hips. A couple more rolls of the shoulders, backwards, squeezing them right up towards the ears and then rolling forwards, really warming up the shoulder joints. Let's take a few rolls through the head, bringing the right ear down to the right shoulder, tucking the chin, bring it over to the left side, left ear, left shoulder, having a little feel, rock back and forwards to see where we're holding onto tension. Let's come back through the center, bringing the right ear to right shoulder, keeping the shoulder blades sliding down the back, and then we'll come back through center and over to the other side, left ear to left shoulder. We can come forward over the knee, so we'll bring them out to the side through our tabletop position and shuffle all the way back to the mat. Take the knees out mat with the big toes touching, a nice big inhalation to broaden through the chest. And then we'll walk the hands all the way down in front to take Adha Mukha Varasana, the downward facing warrior pose. Let the forehead rest fully down onto the mat. We'll expand the belly, let it be heavy as we encourage the hips back towards the feet, really opening up through the hip joints. If you like, you can take the hands to prayer position and then almost like a shark fin, bring it back over the top of the head to help open up through the armpits, the underarms, and through the chest a little further. 
taking some nice full rounds of breath here and exhale to release the hands stretch them out even further maybe even wriggling the fingertips forward a little and we can slide the hips to come forward over the top of the knees really allowing the chest to expand pushing down into the mat and slowly walk the hands back let the hips come back to the feet and we'll find tabletop position let's lift the left arm to come right up to the ceiling reaching up nice and high and then exhale thread it under behind the right arm bring the ear all the way down to the mat and twist through the spine finding a nice openness through the shoulders and then reaching the fingertips all the way back opening through the chest and exhale to release let's come to the other side inhale right arm lifts all the way up exhale thread it behind the wrist bring the ear all the way down to the mat rest the head if that's a bit strong for the neck you can take a block to rest the head onto as well let the shoulders open and a lovely twist through the spine inhale to bring the right arm back through reaching the fingertips up and then exhale to release the arm we'll come forward just a little into the tabletop tuck the back toes underneath really firm the belly up you want to bring the belly button into the back of the spine holding in all the core muscles we'll press into the hands to lift the knees just hovering them off the mat just a little bit really just holding onto that belly getting the core working firing up the muscles and let's exhale to release walk the hands back with the, keep the toes tucked otherwise you can untuck them if that's a bit tight for the soles of the feet the hands come behind you open up through the chest inhale and really broaden draw the shoulder blades together underneath the back of the body take the gaze up towards the ceiling and then exhale to release you can take a few more rolls through the shoulders here and then come forward into the tabletop position take a few rounds of our cat cow now so sinking the belly down and then drawing it up towards the ceiling you can untuck those back toes inhale brings the gaze forward tailbone extends exhale push the mat away round through the spine inhale belly drops exhale push the mat away let the head come all the way down a couple more rounds here maybe in your own time with your own breath really warming up the spine massaging the abdominal organs and if you like a little side stretch just really doing whatever comes naturally to you, you can take a few rolls through the belly all the way around back and forwards just a bit of free movement and then we'll come forward all the way down onto the belly take your arms down by your sides we're going to press down into the hips press down into the tops of the feet a nice big inhalation and as you exhale lift the chest lift the arms up off the mat maybe lifting the legs and the feet as well reaching out from the crown of the head toes pointing out behind you we'll take the locust pose shalabhasana opening up through the chest exhale to release come back down take the left cheek to the mat give the hips a little rock side to side releasing the lower back we'll take that one more time pressing down into the hips maybe this time taking the hands clasped behind the back as you inhale and then exhale to lift the chest lift the arms the legs the feet really drawing the shoulder blades together lengthening out through the neck one more nice big inhalation and exhale to come down take the other cheek to the mat give the hips a gentle rock side to side bring the hands back underneath the shoulders we'll press down into the tops of the feet and the hips as you lift the chest to open up into cobra pose similar height here as we were before keeping the neck nice and long opening through the chest maybe even lifting the hands off and then bringing the elbows down underneath the shoulders will come into sphinx pose pressing the forearms down into the mat to open through the chest a little further couple rounds of breath here really feeling that lovely release through the collarbones 
exhale to release come all the way down and then press through the hands we'll find tabletop position and flow back to the child's pose you can leave the arms out in front or maybe take more traditional style with the arms down by your side the palms facing up let the forehead press gently down into the mat and bring the hands back underneath the shoulders to help lift your way back up and we'll find our way to the tabletop position bring the hands forward about one hand span to tuck the back toes we'll lift the hips to take downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana tailbone pressing up for the ceiling keeping that soft bend through the knees and we'll bend through the elbows and really drawing the heels down towards the mat but that's okay if they're not touching pressing down into the thumbs and the first finger we'll inhale to lift the right leg up towards the ceiling nice and tall three-legged dog pressing the foot up and then bending through the knees to hug it in towards the chest coming forward to step all the way through taking the hands either side of the front foot maybe dropping the back knee untuck the toe and just making sure you've got the, the front knee right above the heel we'll inhale maybe taking the hands to the thigh or taking the fingertips to the mat really broadening through the chest and inhale bring the fingertips up or towards the ceiling really shining the chest forward let's exhale to bring the arms out to cactus and angling the fingertips back really opening out through the chest send the heart forward let's build some confidence inhale brings the fingertips up and we'll take the right arm down the left arm reaches up and over to the side inhale to bring both arms back up and exhale frame the front foot plant the hands down send the weight back into the hips we'll lengthen through the front leg walking the hands back a little closer and just flexing the toes up towards you keep a little bend through the knees as we square the chest over the front thigh coming into the hamstring stretch hips stay right above the back knee and then taking the weight forward pressing the hands either side of the front foot tuck the back toe we'll step all the way back to downward facing dog let's pedal out the heels a couple times and then inhale lift the left leg three-legged dog keeping the toes flexed in towards you opening up and then drawing the knee right up into the chest right into the belly holding it nice and slowly to step all the way through in between the hands or take a couple steps if you need to untuck the back toes dropping the knee we'll inhale to come to fingertips or if you like taking the hands to the thigh let's open up through the chest shine the heart forward and then inhale to draw the fingertips up towards the sky and release the arms out to cactus again taking the fingertips back behind you really opening up through the pecs couple rounds of breath here send the heart forward building the confidence through the body nice and strong exhale to come all the way down we'll shift the weight back into the knee and lengthen through that front leg coming into the hamstring stretch flexing the toes towards you little bend through the knee to soften and squaring the chest over that front thigh opening up through the back of the leg let's take a nice big inhalation and as you exhale planting the front foot taking the hands either side tuck the back toe lift the knee will come all the way back Adho Mukha Svanasana downward facing dog tailbone really pressing up for the ceiling now maybe a little extra space through the backs of the legs heels coming down towards the mat and if you like coming down onto the elbows and pressing the forearms down into the mat to take the dolphin pose if that's feeling a bit strong for you you can stay in the downward facing dog or even rest onto the knees let's meet back downward facing dog opening through the chest melting the heart down and forward and then we'll roll forward to come into plank position taking the weight over the wrists right up onto the feet onto the toes 
one long line and then pushing back downward facing dog take a bend through the knees you can hop or jump all the way up towards the hands or maybe stepping up if you like we'll take Uttanasana forward fold and then coming to our halfway lift hands to shins looking for that flat back tailbone extending out behind you we'll inhale take the arms nice and wide to come up to standing exhale to release the arms bring the hands into the heart center again pressing the thumbs into the sternum Anjali Mudra little tuck of the chin to the chest tuck the tailbone under let the shoulder blades come down the back maybe a little side bend through the knees really grounding down through the feet firmly into the earth and let's bring the focus internally by closing the eyes and coming back to our intention from the beginning of the practice building confidence Inhale, press the palms together to take the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale to release. Bringing them back to the center. Let's send the hips back. We'll come into the chair pose, Uktasana. Sending the hips back as we're going to sit back onto a chair. Working with the exhalation to sit back a little lower. Getting the thighs working, holding those knees in alignment. Maybe you can sit back a little lower keeping the weight evenly through the feet, really feeling the thighs working. Sit back a little lower and then we can inhale to come back to standing. Take the arms up towards the sky and exhale, come out nice and wide, we'll swan dive forward into the forward fold. Inhale the halfway lift, hands to shins. And then stepping the right foot back, drop the back knee, untuck the toe, inhale to lift broad in the chest. Plant the hands, bring the left foot back, we'll send the hips back to the feet, child's pose. Swoop the chest through, coming forward through cobra, and then pushing up through plank to downward facing dog. Let's inhale, lift the right leg really nice and high, opening up through the hip. You can take a bend through the knee, we'll take wild thing, and then hugging the knee, riding close to the chest, step all the way up between the hands. Inhale, broaden the chest, exhale, left foot comes up, and then we'll inhale to standing, releasing the arms. Let's take the hands back to the center, grounding the feet down, resetting for our other side. We'll take just our moment here, Inhale, take the fingertips up. Exhale, slice through the middle to fold all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale to the halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands. This time send the left foot all the way back behind you. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, broaden the chest. And exhale, plant the hands. Bring the right leg back. Send the hips back. Balasana, child's pose. Inhale, swoop the chest through down onto the belly. Exhale, cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Pressing up through plank, maybe to the knees first, downward facing dog. Lifting the left foot nice and high, bending through the knee, opening out through the hips, knee coming up for the sky or the ceiling, and then hugging the knee in towards the chest, step it up between the hands. Inhale, broaden the chest. Exhale, step the right foot up, and we'll inhale to come all the way up. Exhale to release the arms, bringing them back to the heart center. Standing up nice and tall through the spine, feeling completely confident in yourself as we come into the balancing pose. Let's take the left leg up and out to the side, maybe bringing the sole of the foot to the calf muscle, or if that's feeling a bit strong for you today, you can rest the toes down, taking the heel to the ankle. Or maybe our full variation of the tree pose, pressing the sole of the foot into the thigh, the knee coming right out to the side. We'll keep the hands at the heart center today to really keep that focus on ourselves, on our center. And then pointing the knee forward, you can take hold of the big toe into the pistol grip and extend the leg out in front. 
exhale to release the grip we'll take a nice big step all the way back behind you to plant the foot down inhale take the fingertips up towards the ceiling we'll take virabhadrasana one the warrior one pose and again as you exhale opening out the arms to cactus shine the heart forward inviting some extra oxygen into the lungs exhale to release the arms back to the hips and we'll step all the way forward towards the top of the mat you'll come to the other side pressing down through the feet bring the hands to the heart center pressing the palms together and maybe choosing your option here foot coming to the lower leg or maybe even heel to the ankle or maybe reaching down take hold of the foot pressing the sole of the foot into the thigh opening out through the knee and again, keeping the hands at the heart center, Anjali Mudra, completely grounded, focusing on ourselves. For Vrikshasana, our tree pose, challenging the balance. Point the knee forward, reach down, take hold of the big toe, pistol grip with the first two fingers, extending the leg out in front, and then keeping the balance, send the right leg all the way back out behind you. Toes coming out slightly at the back, the hip square to the top of the mat. We'll inhale, take the fingertips up towards the sky and exhale, open out through the shoulders, bending through the elbows to cactus arms, really opening up through the chest. Send the heart forward, take the gaze up. Exhale, release the hands back to the hips. We'll step all the way to the top of the mat. Let's come to the center of our mat for the length way, the long way, and take the heels in, the toes slightly out, nice and wide, a bit wider than before. Tuck the tummy in, drawing the belly button into the back of the spine, and tuck the tailbone under. Bring the hands back to the heart center. Nice big inhalation, stand up nice and tall as you exhale, sinking the tailbone down towards the mat. Pressing firmly into the feet, feeling nice and strong. Let's get some heat generating between the hands, rubbing them back and forth between the hands. And then slowly opening out. And we can flip the grip to push the hands away, bringing the, the fingers back in towards you, stretching through the palms. And release all the way down. Releasing the legs will come back to standing. You can take a few rolls through the shoulders, through the arms, back and forward and we'll bring the hands back to the hips this time bringing the toes in the heels slightly out inhale to broaden through the chest bring the elbows back towards each other and as you exhale folding forward just at the halfway point and then maybe if you like releasing the arms the head and the neck take prasarita parottanasana if you're quite flexible here Maybe walking the hands back in line with the toes, keeping the hands and the elbows at about shoulder width and really letting the head release down into towards the mat. Lovely stretch through the backs of the legs, the ankles, hamstrings. And then let's come back to the halfway point. Nice big deep bend through the knee to lift all the way up. The hands behind you will interlace the fingers taking a nice clasp of the hands to pull the shoulder blades down and draw the chest open and then folding forward we'll take the same pose this time reaching the, that clasp of the hands back up towards the sky up towards the ceiling to really open through the chest lovely way to counter all of that forward rolling shoulder action that we see when we've been working at our desk or looking down at our phones or driving. The shoulders can tend to hunch forward, but this pose is beautiful to open up through the pecs. Even if your arms or your hands are hardly off your back, still doing some wonderful work. Let's release all the way back out, release the grip and definitely give the shoulders a few more rolls here. Flush it all through. Nice big circles with the arms, if you like. Awesome. Heel toe the feet in, step the legs in together. And we'll make our way towards a seated position, towards the top of the mat with the legs out in front. 
Let's flex the toes in towards you. Keep a little bend through the knees. And we'll sit up nice and tall through the spine. And again, bringing the hands to the heart center. Drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Feel the crown of the head reaching up for the ceiling. Completely feeling confident here within your body. Breathing it into the soul and the mind, believing that it's already true. Everything you need is already within you. You just need to access it. Let's inhale, take the fingertips up for the sky. Exhale to fold forward, letting the arms come down wherever they land. We'll come into the forward fold. You're quite flexible here. Maybe taking the hands to the outside edges of the feet or just onto the thighs or the lower legs, wherever. And we'll work with the breath as you inhale, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, fold forward. Continue on, inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Slowly letting the chest come down, the belly come down towards the thighs. Stretching all through the back body. And we'll slowly walk the hands back in towards the body. Take the hands under the knees. Maybe shuffling forward a little so you get some space behind you. We'll open through the chest, taking the hands back. That one hand's bent, pointing the toes in towards the body. And then maybe staying here or maybe pressing into the feet to lift the hips to take reverse plank. You can keep the gaze along the body or maybe release the head back a bit, but I prefer to keep it gazing along the body, making sure you keep those hips up at shoulder height, squeezing the glutes, keeping the tummy tucked in, and let's come all the way down. Take the hands behind the knees and really find that C shape through the chest. Inhale, takes the chest forward, exhale, C round through the back, inhale, reach forward, Exhale to release. A little cat cow variation here, rolling through the spine. And now our options keeping the hands behind the legs. Can you lift one leg to knee height, lift the other. And if you're feeling okay, maybe lifting both to take boat pose or boat pose variation. You can keep the arms uh, behind the knees or out just by your side. And if you're feeling okay, we can flow through. A couple rounds here, really working the abs. Inhale to bring you up, exhale to push the legs away. Inhale to bring you up, exhale to release. And holding in just a little longer, you come all the way down. Let's round through the back, hug the belly in and slowly come all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest, maybe take a few rolls side to side. Draw some circles with the knees, release the lower back. Let the feet come down towards the mat and we'll take the soles of the feet together, the knees out nice and wide. You might like to take one hand to the top of the chest, the other to the belly, and we take Supta Baddha Kanasana. Just allowing the hips to open, the knees coming out to the side, and the hands on the chest and the belly helping to connect us in with the breath. Noticing the rise and fall of the chest and the belly. We can help the knees back through centre, this time the feet out mat width and the knees knock in towards each other. Nice release for the lower back. You can take the arms up to cactus and help to open through the chest and the shoulders. Draw the knees in for the chest and then we'll take them over to the left side. Coming into our open twist or our supine twist. You can take the gaze out over the right shoulder if that's feeling okay for the neck. And just coming back to those nice slow rounds of breath. Take a nice big inhalation as you exhale, draw the knees up to the chest, coming through center and over to the other side. Then again, the gaze can come out over to the opposite shoulder as we just really wring out the spine, releasing. Nice big inhalation and exhale to draw the knees back through center. 
And we'll come to find our final resting pose, Shavasana. Extending the legs out, let the feet hang out to the side. The arms down by your side, but a little bit of distance from the body. With the palms facing up. You can shut the eyes down. And really soften the gaze. Soften the eyes, let them roll back in the head. Take a slight part of the tea. Let the tongue be soft. Softening all through the face. Allowing the body to really feel heavy. Melting down into the mat. Fully relaxed and releasing. Rewarding ourselves for all that wonderful work that we've just done for the body. And we'll come back to our intention. Our boost of confidence feeling so strong within ourselves, within our yoga practice. We can take this into our daily life, knowing that we are really, really confident in what we're doing, who we are. We're already feeling this confidence as though it's already true. With every inhalation that you take, inviting this feeling into the body a little further and as you exhale releasing letting go of anything that's standing in your way slowly reach the arms up and overhead, full body stretch and then invite the knees into the chest. You could slowly roll over onto your favourite side, maybe using your upper arm as a little pillow, keeping the gaze soft or even the eyes closed. As you make your way towards a seated position or even if you like staying a little longer here in Shavasana, Coming with me, bringing the hands to the heart center, tuck the chin into the chest. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I really hope you enjoyed the flow and this beautiful, beautiful view behind me. Be sure to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you don't miss anything. Hit like if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.